miles aside from my store. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Steam Boss video. Today we are going to be talking about granite reconditioning. The reconditioning process will remove all of those contaminants that are in the pores of your stone, causing it to lose its clarity, feel weird, give it an oily texture, or anything like that. And then after we have removed all those contaminants, we will be able to polish it back up to how it was from the factory, sometimes even better, or remove slight etching and slight scratches. And then after that is done, we will be able to apply a sealer, which will help you maintain your countertops moving forward and also prevent against staining. So in this video, we are gonna take you through the steps really quickly, show you kind of what the beginning and end result is. We'll put some photos at the end of this video to kind of show you the visual differences that you can expect. Let's get into it. So we're gonna be doing a granite reconditioning here on this kitchen. Overall, not too, too bad. It definitely has a rough texture to it. And as well, as you can see, it's kind of hard to show you in the light, but you can see right there, there's some smearing going on on here, just from cleaning products and everything else. So we're gonna kind of get rid of the residue that's on top of this, and this one's gonna be good to go. So the first step in the reconditioning process is to use a specialized stone scrub uh, in order to clean the countertops and remove all of the dirt from all of those pores. All right, now that the surface is fully clean, you can definitely feel the difference in the countertop already. So Becky's doing a, a rinse there to make sure that everything is now prepped for polishing. But even before polishing, just with the contaminants gone, um, the light reflectivity is definitely increased and the feel and overall look of the countertop is already better. The next step after the cleaning is complete is going to be doing a top polish on your stone. So this is going to improve the clarity back to how it was from the factory or in some cases even better than it was from the factory. In this process, it will remove some slight etching if you have a marble countertop and some slight scratches. If you have anything that's a major scratch in it or really, really bad etching, then you will require a full countertop restoration. Now step three, after the top polish is complete, we're going to want to seal your counters. So this is going to take all of those little pores that we were talking about earlier and seal them up, making it much easier for you to maintain moving forward as well as prevent staining. After the sealer has been applied and removed, uh, one final buff and then your countertops will be complete. All right, so we got it all polished up. Uh, the sealer is being applied now, so we kind of just let it soak. And uh, you can see those little bubbles there, that's from the stone uh, absorbing that sealer going right into all those pores. So Becky's putting it on now. We'll probably give it uh, anywhere from, we give it anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour depending on uh, how much or how fast it's taken it. And then we'll buff it in and this one will be good to go. Okay, we are all done. Countertop is fully reconditioned. You can see the clarity is so much better. If you guys could feel it in person, it is buttery smooth. You can see all those lights really, really clear in it. This one's gonna be a wrap. I, I, I,